On California, we were doing a hydrographic survey. It is going out on a zodiac, basically painting a picture of the ocean floor. Pretty much anything where there's water and obstructions. Uh, driving out there, especially in the Pacific, just had to be really mindful of the gear. And then while you're out there, with the bigger swells on the Pacific, it makes it a little bit harder, a little more rocky and choppy while you're trying to set up the programs and, you know, trying to see where you're going and, uh, you know, where you're going to be at. So it's, uh, it's going to be a little more difficult. Uh, this program, we started a mission about two years ago uh, to do a gap crossing study and realize there's an intelligence gap in that we had no idea what was under the water. And we had no idea how to collect it or had any means to collect it. So uh, we got funded and purchased the gear and have uh, figured out everything since then. And from initial training, we received a gear to uh, doing each type of environment. You know, doing the beach, doing the small gap crossings, doing the larger inland waterways. So it was, it was ground up. Uh, we learned all the learned all the rookie mistakes, uh, how to build a bracket, what boat to use, how to collect, what speed. Now we're just fine tuning how we collect and, and what we're doing with the data. I mean, we have great cohesion amongst the shop. I mean, it's, it's working as a team out there. I mean, everybody understands what it, everybody's job is, and you know, we all know what we have to do and where we need to be. Everybody just goes out and does their thing, especially with our land guys doing what they need to do. And if we were to go out and collect data ahead of time, and let's say we did need to have data over a certain area where there were use for an amphibious landing, although the ocean changes quite frequently, we would have pretty accurate data of how an amphibious assault vehicle can land on a beach whether it's a reef or coral bed somewhere that you would want to avoid. It's going to show a mosaic of maybe what we're going to be reading on the bottom of the ocean floor. It's progressed a lot since we've been here. I mean, we started off, we had just gotten the equipment when I got here, and um, we started from different prototypes of brackets and different boats we've used, and then as time goes on, you know, trial and error, we've learned and more fine-tuned it. Uh, we can employ this uh, anywhere in the world. They, the SEALs do this and the recon guys do this, but they only use very submersive, below the water, rudimentary uh, methods to do it. Uh, we're doing it to get a really good picture of what's under the water prior to forces needing it. That's incredibly high detail. I mean, we can pick out fish and if someone left a, you know, a cooking pot under the water, we'd be able to pick it out. They handle it all and take care of the missions themselves. Uh, so we're. We're technically complete now. Now we're just fine tuning how we collect and, and what we're doing with the data.